Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to store cabbage the right way. Let's get to it. So the thing about cabbage, like most vegetables, you really don't wanna chop into them until you absolutely have to use it. As soon as you cut into that cabbage, it's gonna start losing its vitamin C. So it's really important that you keep it whole as long as you possibly can, right until you're ready to cook with it. If you do have to chop the cabbage, you're, and you're not gonna use all of it, that's totally okay. The thing that you wanna keep in mind is, after you cut into it, you wanna take whatever's left over and tightly wrap that in plastic. And they can store in the fridge for just a couple of days. After that, you're not gonna be able to keep the cabbage around much longer. So how do you put cabbage in the fridge properly? So, what you wanna do, cabbage prefers being really cold and it likes a lot of moisture. So you wanna use the crisper drawer so you can keep that humidity. Another thing that will really help too is by putting it in a plastic bag. So put the cabbage in a plastic bag, but don't tie it, just keep it open so it can still breathe and put it this way in the crisper drawer. Stored this way and stored properly, cabbage can last this way in the fridge, in the crisper drawer for up to a couple months. But here's the kicker. If you actually get late crop cabbage, you can actually store it up to almost six months if stored properly. Now, th the only way you really know that is maybe by knowing your farmer, but hey, you know what? If you don't have to buy cabbage for six months, I think it's worth it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, just drop a comment below. And hey, you know what? I release new videos every single week. So if you like to cook like I do, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.